Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome into Arthur East Staff Gymnasium for tonight's big three divisional matchup between the New Bedford Whalers and your Brockton Boxers. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Joined alongside my broadcast partner, big game Miles Jackson. Miles, it doesn't get much bigger than the big three. No, it doesn't, and especially these two rivalries, the New Bedford Whalers and the Brockton Boxers, Boxers they go way back and doesn't matter what the records are, throw out the records, this should be a good game because nobody wants to come out of here a loser. Brockton. Brockton coming off of a big win against Barnstable. When we say big, it was 40 points. Yeah, it, it, it was a big game and it was a good game for the boxers. Feel good about themselves coming into this very important um, big three game. Yeah, Tenosa Kumbo winning the tip off to Abu Kaba. Kaba over to Demarge Taylor. Get back in for Kaba off the glass, no good. Et coming down with the rebound, flinging it out to Karan Harris. Harris down low for Kaba, who has it ripped out of his hands by number 15 of the Whalers. That is Chandler Quenne. Yeah, it was good defense by the Whalers on the first uh, boxer attempt at the uh, basket. Et coming up. With the tip in the passing lane, it deflects out of bounds onto the Brockton bench. Yo, away, away, away. Justin Baker, senior 5'8 guard. Over to number 25, Lamar Antone, who has a lane to the basket. No good. Abu Kaba coming down with the rebound. Yeah, it looks like Brock, Brockton going up against a small New Bedford team. Antone now, he's got some good speed. Ran ahead of the ball off of Karan Harris's heel. And out of bounds off the Whalers. There's some protest from the Whalers. Yeah, that, that ball did go off the heel of um, the Brockton guard. Maybe a Furbler into Taylor. Taylor back to Furbler and for E.T. who had more space than he thought he did. His layup off the glass, no good. Ripping down the rebound to Kaba. Kaba goes up off the glass, no good. Golden opportunity missed right there for the boxes. Rims seem a little bit smaller than they normally are tonight yes. on both sides. Minute and a half into this game and we are still scoreless. This is Antone. Stopping, popping for a two, no good. Etanosa Kumbo ripping down the rebound. I do like the boxes and their rebounding effort on both ends of the court. Taylor too hard off the glass. Harris followed hard in the paint, and he will be at the line for two shots. Yeah, great effort by Harris. Kept with the ball, didn't give up, and uh, is rewarded with some, uh, well, actually rewarded with the boxes getting the basketball. No free throw. And it looks like he is going to go to the free throw line. I thought so because he was going up for a shot on that. Karan Harris at the charity stripe. Off the back of the rim. This must be the, uh, the freshman Nets. <laughs> Still scoreless, almost two minutes into the first quarter. Exactly. Our poor, poor graphics guy. A three from number five is good. Steven Torres and the Whalers have the first points of the game. Farbler to Taylor to Harris. Back to Taylor. Out to Farbler. His three is way too long. Yeah, that's an air ball. Out of bounds. Just on the short period of time we've watched this basketball game, I think Brockton can, can control the inside. And uh, Furbler stepped out of bounds. But, uh, excuse me, Taylor stepped out of bounds. But these boxes, I think, can control the boards just from the um, what I've seen early on in this first four minutes. Demarge Taylor to Furbler. Back to Taylor, back to Furbler. 15 on the shot clock. 
Ferber is called for the travel. Yeah, good, good job by the Whalers defense forcing him to travel. Steven Torres, 5'10 guard, over to Antone. In for number 32, who is called for the travel. That is Tyshawn Montero. Yeah, good defense there inside by um, E.T. Three comes up short. Brockton has yet to score three minutes into the first quarter. Yeah, that ball came right back out to the shooter. He didn't follow his shot. Justin Baker inside for Montero. Montero loses it to E.T. All the way in for Karan Harris off the bottom of the rim. No good. Abu Kaba slapping the rebound right into the awaiting arms of Justin Baker, whose shot is off the glass and in. 5 nothing. Whalers on top. Yeah, nice job by Baker using that backboard. Taylor to Harris, his three is no good. Tariq Yaya getting ready to come into the game. Wide open three, no good for Montero. Abukawa coming down with the rebound. Halfway through the first quarter, Brockton has yet to score. Demarge Taylor trying to change that with a three. That is no good. Yeah, the box is a cold from the outside. They should concentrate on the inside. Counting in one for number 25, Lamar Anton. Yeah, nice job by Lamar to change his handling the ball over to his left side and put it nicely and sweetly off the backboard. Precious Oko and Tariq Yaya into the game for Karan Harris and Nabil Ferbler. Three points the old-fashioned way for Antone. Hard to believe it's been about seven minutes since, uh, since Brockton has had not scored six minutes. Marge Taylor called for the double dribble, and Brockton is still cold for the goose egg on the scoreboard. Tariq Yaya trying to get it to Oko. Bounces off a of Whaler. Yaya gets the own pass. E.T. with a wild layup. No good. Brockton throwing up all sorts of shots from everywhere. And Oko forcing down the rebound. To Kaba to Taylor. Taylor for three is no good. And an offensive foul against Precious Oko. Called for the push. Brockton still stone cold from the outside as well as the inside. They just can't buy a shot inside as well as out. Whalers need to take full advantage of this um, cold spell by the boxers here in the first quarter. Justin Baker, top of the key, bouncing it in for Montero. Montero out for... Antone is shot, no good. E.T. with the rebound. All the way up for Yaya. Back to Demarge Taylor. Precious Oko for three is no good. Justin Baker called for the foul. I believe, Matt, that game against um, Barnstable was like a low-scoring first quarter. I believe also in that game. Oko in for Taylor. Back to Oko, back to Taylor. Two and a half to go. Brockton still with a goose egg.
Tejon Glenn Darty in the game. Yeah, Darty. Along with the big man, Sonny Okunlola. Yeah, Darty couldn't quite hold on to it. He had the position underneath. It was good defense. Oko stopping and popping for a three, and it's good. Brockton on the board with two minutes and 10 seconds to go in the first quarter. The hallelujah. They've broken the ice. Tariq Yaya in, layup no good. Oko coming down with the rebound. He puts it off the glass and in. Yeah, nice job Oko establishing his position right underneath that basket, making just enough room with himself with his body and put it right off the glass and in. Long three, no good. Demarge Taylor coming down with it. Precious Oko stopping and popping for a two. Off the rim, no good. Rebound for Sonny Oko and Lola put it up, no good. Your twisted but true fact, Precious Oko has accounted for every single boxer point in this game. Well, there you go. Everybody's cold on this boxer team. Eight to five the score. Brockton trailing now by three. Sonny Oak and Lola has now discounted the twisted fact. Eight to six. And on the rebound, Marcino Louis Charles putting up. And we have a tie ball game, eight to eight the score. Brockton clawing its way back in. Louis Charles did a nice job going after the um, free throw. It had paid off for an easy two. Lamar Antone fouled by Louis Charles. Yeah, Antone. Glenn Doherty. Antone, very quick dribbler. And he uses his quickness to his, his advantage, so Brockton did a pretty good job Ding up on it. Come on. Let's go. Give me one. Give me one. Give me one. And just like that, it's, it's, I just realized the game's tied up. So that cold spell, New Bedford could not take full advantage of uh, Brockton's cold spell in that first quarter. Taylor to Louis Charles to Oko. Back to Louis Charles. Back to Oko now for Taylor. Taylor kicking it out to Oko. Pump fake to Louis Charles for three is good. Wow, big shot there by Louis Charles. Brockton with their first lead of the ball game, 11 to nine the score. Steven Torres, number three with a long three, no good. That was Giovanni Garcia, shot clock is off. Brockton with the ball. Louis Charles out to Oko, wide open three, a lot of time is good. Yeah, nice job by the boxers on that transition game. Coach for New Bedford is looking for a foul. He's hot, and the ref gave him a look like, say another thing, they're gonna call you for a tech. Yeah, I didn't see the foul. There was a little contact, but. Antone for three is good. Two seconds left. Oko unable to get a shot off. 14 to 12 the score at the end of the first quarter. Brockton on top. Miles, Brockton was once down eight to nothing at uh, one point in that first quarter. Slowly but surely clawing their way in, led by Precious Oko. Yeah, they went about six minutes or so uh, without scoring a basket in that first quarter. And fortunately for them, New Bedford couldn't take advantage of that long cold spell and they only had eight points as you said themselves and finally Brockton's gotten on track started to hit some outside shots made a couple of inside shots now they're a little loosey-goosey we should see uh, um, the real boxes right right from here on in um, in this basketball game of course a big three divisional matchup you see New Bedford's bench right there New Bedford wearing all red jerseys red shorts silver trim all around the Whalers Brockton, on the other hand, their brand new home whites. Black stripe down the side of the shorts. Black lettering with red trim. A new slick look. I was going to say, real slick. I like it. 
Little Birdie told me that there's new socks on the way as well for the Brockton Boxers. Steven Torres tripped up. It's going to be an offensive foul. I tell you what, we need to pay attention to the, the matchup of uh, number 35 for Brockton, the big man. Ugandala. Lola definitely fouled. No call. No call. Lamar Antoine off the glass and then on the other end, all tied up 14 to 14. Oko for three is no good. Oko Lola coming down with the rebound. Oko with loose ball. Louis Charles fling it to Glenn Darty down low. Counted and one for Tejon Glenn Darty. Yeah, nice job, Darty. Being ready for that real slick, quick pass to him in the paint. And he went right up, didn't put it on the floor, went right up with it, got fouled. Chance for a uh, three point play here. And that's what you want to do. When you're a big man, you get it in. Get it in the red paint, a pass. Don't try to bounce it on the, put it on down on the floor. Just put it right up. Glendardi three points the old fashioned way. Marcus Azor and Jerese Harrison, they replace Precious Oko and Demarge Taylor. Okay, the boxes, excuse me, the boxes got a couple of smaller guards in there right now. We'll see how on um, the Wheelers respond. Torres for three is no good. Decided to backpedal seven steps instead of follow a shot in. Rebound put up by number 23, Curtis Bulger Jr. Wow, he just kind of threw that up there. Closed his eyes and it went in. Harris for three, no good. Louis Charles with the rebound is short two, in and out. Out of bounds off of Brockton. Minute and a half into the second quarter, Brockton up 17 to 16. Long, long, long. Well, this is out of bounds off of Brockton. Yeah, Torres, number five for the uh, Whalers, trying to take advantage of his ma uh, matchup. He's got a few inches on his uh, defensive player. Bulger Jr. for Antone right between the legs onto the Brockton bench. Brockton takes over on downs. Yeah, he's, he's got to be ready for that pass. He, he wasn't ready. Harrison for Oak and Lolo. Oak and Lolo looking for Glenn Darty. Out of bounds off of New Bedford. Yeah, Brockton dodged the bullet right there. That was not a good pass. Harris for Azor. Back to Harris. Azor in for Oak and Lola. Off the glass, no good. Glenn Darty ripping down the rebound. Trying to get it to Harris. Instead finds Bulger Jr. Three for Torres, no good. Oak and Lola letting the rebound slide off his chest. Yeah. He turns it into a dribble. And a backcourt violation called against the Bro Brockton Boxers. I think that was tipped by Torres. Yeah, Okendo did a nice job. He brought the ball to the half court, and then he smartly held it up, waiting for a guy, but he lost the handle of the basketball and threw it into the backcourt. Yeah, Torres. With a short floater off the back of the rim, up and in. Yeah, again, Torres has a mismatch, and he knows it, so he's going to try and take advantage of it as long as he can. Louis Charles for Glenn Darty, big man for three, no good. Harris to Azor, his three rainbow shot, no good. And New Bedford coming down with the rebound. Some good looks. Brockton just couldn't put it in the basket. Torres to Antone, oh, three from way downtown, no good. Jerese Harris with the rebound. Brockton getting ready to send in 
four of its five starters. Yeah. As Oak and Lola shot off the rim, couple of bounces and in. Yeah, that was a nice job by Oak and Lola. Big man, him and uh, New Biffa's big man are pushing and got words underneath the basket. So the referees needs to watch that, miss that matchup right there. Glenn Darty comes up with the block. Bulger Jr. shot a little wild. Marcino Louis Charles stopping right in front of us to Jerry's Harris. Oak and Lola, the big man for a three is short. And it's going to be an offensive foul against Tejon Glenn Darty. Yeah. Who is called for the push against Curtis Bulger Jr. Yeah, uh, getting a little physical underneath with the big guys, especially Okandola and um, whoever was guarding him. A lot of pushing and shoving, even some um, some smack talking out there. So the referees need to pay attention to that. That cannot get out of control. You can see Coach Bowen with some intensity on his face, letting his team know what, what they have to do when they go back out there. Well, the bottom line for the Brockton boxers so far, the starters have not done their job. The bench has accounted for almost all of the 19 points Brockton has had. So, so I'm sure some stern talking to uh, the starters have been on the bench in this second quarter. And it is Nabil Ferbler, Etanosa Kunbor, Abu Kaba, Karan Harris, and Marcus Azor on the floor right now for Brockton. Remember about the decision of taking Oak and Lola and Precious Oko out. Nabil Furbler creating the turnover. Can't keep it in bounds. And the Whalers will have another chance to send this thing in bounds. Justin Baker stopping, popping. Hook Ooh. shot is good. That was a sweet little shot. Way high off the glass and in. 20 to 19, Whalers on top. Azor looking for ET. Furbler to Azor to Kaba in the pin off the glass and good. Yeah, nice job by Kaba. Took it right to the basket. Once he got it, took it right to the basket. Azor with the nice assist. Demarge Taylor getting ready to come in, I'm sure, to replace Marcus Azor, who got in the passing lane, laying it up and in. Ooh, Azor did a nice job of reading that pass. Timed it perfectly, then made a nice shot with a man on him and laid it up off the glass and in. Good job by Azor. Again, like you said, Matt, the bench has really done a great job this uh, evening. Abu Kaba coming down with this rebound, broken up by three, looking to add to that. Marcus Azor for Nabil Ferbler. His three is no good. And stepping out of bounds was number 32, Tayshawn Montero. Yeah, you can see how Azor read it perfectly there on the replay, then adjusted his body well and put it off the glass and in. Nice job. A little bit of switching cameras mid-replay there by the postman. Demarge Taylor who has replaced Marcus Azor. All five Brockton starters on the floor. Demarge Taylor looking for Kaba to Ferbler. 10 on the shot clock. Cron Harris off the glass, fouled on his way. Up will be at the line for two shots. Yeah, he got off quickly to the basket. Defense didn't have time to set his feet and committed the foul. Harris good on his first attempt. Number 22 for the Whalers, Corey Medeiros into replace Kenneth Franklin. One of two at the line was Harris. Steven Torres with it for the Whalers. Brockton up four. 
24 to 20, two minutes to go in the second quarter. Justin Baker setting up the Whalers offense. Montero down low, can't get the shot up. Abu Kaba comes up with a loose ball. Kaba fouled by Curtis Bulger Jr. Yeah, down at the other end, that was great defense by E.T. I think you're gonna see it right here. All in his face, makes a nice block, no foul. And Brockton brings it back down the, the floor quickly. Abu Kaba at the line for two shots. A one and one, missing his first, does not get a second. Taylor to Harris, his three in and out. Harris coming up with a loose ball. Initially looked like he was trying to dunk it, instead goes off the glass and in. Yeah, he did a nice job protecting the ball with his body because he saw the defender coming at him and uh, put it off the glass and in. Baker to Torres. Torres for three, way short. Yeah, well, excuse me, one of the Brockton defenders that was on Torres got a little piece of that ball. Nice defense. Number 32 getting hit in the face when he put that shot up, Tyshawn Montero. He is in some pain at the charity stripe right now. Yeah, you can see him there. He's catching his breath. Nice shot there by the cameraman. Let's see on the replay. I think he got a little piece of that. Right there. Yeah. Got the, the old forearm shiver to the face. Midair, which didn't help things. One of two at the line. Whoa. Brockton coming up with the rebound, putting the loose ball in the net. 28 to 21, boxers on top. Yeah, that was a nice drive by the Brockton guard there, uh, Taylor. Ooh. Wow. Wild shot there by number 25, Lamar Antone. Somehow found its way in. The best thing about that move was he just faked out his defensive opponent, left him standing there, and then went right to the basket and, like you said, threw up a dipsy doodle wild shot and it went in. You see it right there. Kind of yeah. one-handed, underhanded hook shot. Uh, lazy pass right there. No excuse. Fox has got to be a little bit more careful. Antoine thought about the three. Taylor on the other end off the glass and in. Head coach for New Bedford, Bonzi Coulson. Talk about a basketball name there. Yeah. Calling for the end, one on the other end. Great defense by Brockton, and they came back down again and scored a basket. And that's what you need to do if you want. You'll see right here on the replay. Well, that was the tail end of the great defensive play that was made at the other end, and Brockton took advantage and got the two. Now the thing about an and one, as Bonzi Coulson was calling for, is the initial shot has to go in. It didn't even get near yeah. the backboard, let alone into the net. Taylor with two seconds left to Furbler, last second three is good! The buzzer beater for Nabil Furbler. And we go into halftime with a Brockton 10 point lead, 33 to 23 miles. What did you see on that last couple of minutes that Brockton was able to pull away. Well, I saw great defense. And great defense equals offense. You gotta take advantage of the great defense and, and, and get your offense going. And that's what Brockton did, and that's why they were up 10 points at this moment. 33-23, Brockton on top of big three divisional rival, New Bedford at halftime. We're gonna step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. Look at you, you're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. 
because buzz driving is drunk driving. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the New Bedford Whalers and Brockton, the Brockton Boxers. I, once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Joined alongside my broadcast partner, big game, Miles Jackson. Miles, first half ended with some fireworks, a big buzzing, buzzer beating three by Nabil Ferbler. Yeah, and I think the Brockton's really starting to warm up a little bit, a little better with their shots. But they gotta protect that basketball. Those post snowstorm blues. Yes. Ferbler for three, a rainbow shot is no good. Atenosa Akumbo coming down with the rebound. Now to Demarge Taylor, it's gonna be the second backcourt violation of the game against the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, coach uh, for New Bedford wanted a three second violation, but Brockton had the ball. This, the big man had the ball in the, in the red paint. Can't call three seconds. New Bedford's coach has been calling for just about everything this game. Ferbler coming away with the loose ball. Taylor to Ferbler to Abu Kaba. All the way across for Karan Harris driving baseline, laying it up, going for the dunk. It's gonna be an offensive foul against Karan Harris and Bob Bone is fired up. Wow. I, I didn't see the charge, but I could have missed it. Let's see. Yeah, he has he had his position beat planet. Coach said he's got bad vision. No wonder he's been calling for every, every foul, foul yeah. this on this entire <laughs> game. A long three for Anton. And again, we see the terrible trend this season of players not following their shots. Yeah, yeah, nice job there by Ferbler. Used his body again to protect the ball as he went to the basket. Made it look easy. Justin Baker stopping and popping for two, no good. Demarge Taylor to Ferbler. Ferbler back to Taylor. Taylor with some space over to Harris. To Kaba for three is good. Nice shot there. Quick release for two. Oh, it's actually for three. 38-23, Brockton on top now by 15 points. Yeah, he's a little bit out of control there for the New Bedford Whalers, number 25. Lamar Antone has found a seat on the bench. The head coach for New Bedford was any louder. He might rival the coach for Brighton. Yeah. He doesn't quite have the volume though. Right. Kaba trying to get up to the rim. Is wildly unsuccessful in that venture, but he was fouled and will be at the line for two shots. Yeah, let's see this on the replay. Yeah, it looks like they got him on the arm. Does he get four shots because he was followed by two different players? Uh, no, it doesn't work that way, Matt. <laughs> 39 23, Brockton up by 16 with 545 left in the third quarter. Etinosa Kunbor coming down with the rebound, fling it over to Kaba. Kaba to Taylor. His three is good. Nice see Taylor hit that shot. He likes to take that shot from, from that area. Steven Torres now for the Whalers. Losing it, out of bounds, off of Brockton. Abu Kaba coming down with the wild air ball. 
Taylor driving in, kicks it out to Ferbler, who would have had plenty of time to launch a three had it been a clean pass. Kaba flinging it over to Taylor to Harris. His three is good. Yeah, nice ball movement by the boxes. They were in and out, then around the rim, over in the corner, and two three-point shot made it really nice. Ball movement by the Brockton boxes. I think the New Bedford Whalers players were unaware that their coach had called a timeout. They were all standing on the floor for at least a good 15 seconds after the whistle blew. You can see how on the replay there, Brockton had it in, then took it back out, went around the rim and made that corner shot. Brockton has quietly put this uh, New Bedford team uh, away here in the third quarter. Brockton heating up from beyond the arc. 45 to 23, Brockton now up by 22 points. <laughs> Steven Torres. Torres for three is good from way downtown. Yeah, way downtown is right. Maja Taylor to Nabil Ferbler. Ferbler floater no good. Kaba coming down with the rebound. First jump ball called. Yeah, nice job by Kaba. He likes to get up there and mix it up in the rebound department. That's what the boxes need. Someone that's going to go up there and fight for those rebounds. Brockton taking full advantage, full advantage of this smaller New Bedford team. Baker to Montero. Short two is good. Taylor to Harris off the glass and in. Ooh, that was a nice job. Harris was ready for the pass. Steven Torres. Hard across for Bulger Jr. In for Montero, back to Bulger. His long two, no good. Three Whalers fighting for the rebound. They all tip it to Demarge Taylor to Etanosa Kunbor going for the dunk and he misses it. Yeah, it's a good try. Good defense. Bob Bowen. Head and hands has rolled up the sleeves on his red sweater. He's fired up because E.T. didn't miss a dunk. He missed a layup. Yeah, exactly. I think on the, you might see this on the replay. We're actually we're back to live action. Precious Oko to Abu Kaba. Jumping Ooh. and jiving. Ooh, that was a nice shot Bring because he two. was actually pushed. He was pushed off. That, they could have called a foul, but he hung in there and uh, focused and made the shot. Rockton going with the jumbo set. Sonny Oak and Lola to Jean Glenn Darty. Getting ready to come back into the game. ET tipping this to Precious Oko. Oko down low for Taylor trying to get it to Harris. And it was deflected out of bounds. Oak and Lola and Glenn Darty in. Abu Kaba and E.T. out. Kron Harris for three, no good. Steven Torres coming down with the rebound for the Whalers. Scrum on the floor, there's six bodies on the floor. Whalers come away with the ball. Glenn Darty coming up with a block. Glenn uh, Oko, rather, coming down with the loose ball to Harris. Harris thought about the three, gives it down to Oak and Lola. High off the glass, no good. And the Whalers come away with it, 2.25 left to go in the third quarter. 49 to 28, the score, Brockton on top. Montero, short two, no good. Cron Harris the other way. Oh. 
did a nice job going around the defender on that layup. He just couldn't quite finish it off. Marcus Azor and Tariq Yaya getting ready to come back into the game for Brockton. Precious Oko. Driving inside, has it ripped away by Justin Baker. Now Torres on the other end. Has it ripped out of his hands by Demarge Taylor. Taylor to Harris off the glass and in. Yeah, nice tandem right there. Perfect pass at the right time. Nothing the defense could do. Antone for three, no good. Yaya and Azor in. Demarge Taylor. You'll see this nice tandem, nice little dish off. In stride, easy two. And Matt, we've heard that um, play call all year long, California, by Coach Bowen. Fifty-one twenty-eight, Brockton on top. Fifty-eight seconds left in the third quarter. Antone to Baker. Baker driving inside against Marcus Azor. Montero from the charity stripe for two is good. Nice little shot there by the big man. Gave himself enough space from uh, Glenn Doherty. Azor behind the back, no look pass to Oko. Oko to Glenn Doherty, up and in. Nice job by Doherty. He was ready for that in the inside. He was in the paint waiting. Azor coming up with the steal all the way back off the glass and in. Yeah, Azor just kind of picked his pocket. New Bedford God really didn't take care of the basketball and Azor took advantage. Trying to hold on for a last shot. Wildly unsuccessful now. Oko last second shot will not count. 55 to 30, Brockton up big, 25 points at the end of the third quarter as we take a look at that Marcus Azor steal and layup. Nice. Azor, good rounded player coming off the bench. He takes care of the basketball for the most part. We've seen him improve since the beginning of the season and the coach has confidence to put him in at certain times during the basketball game. Tell you, if he gets some size, some upper body muscle, he will be an absolute force. Yes, uh, and maybe he needs to work on that during the off season, put on a little bit more weight, even during the season. Eat a little bit more, drink a few more shakes, and uh, because he's got a good attitude when he's out there, does the basics, does what the coaches ask him to do, and uh, he's rewarded right now. He's back out there on the floor. Azor is only a junior, 5'10 guard. Again, 5'10, I'd like to stand up. I'm 5'6, I'd like to stand up uh, shoulder to shoulder and see if he is four inches taller than me. Possibly could be. Big number 34 for Brockton yet to see action tonight. I'd like to stand up next to him and see what the height difference is. He's listed yeah. at 6'9". And he's probably still growing a little bit. That's the real scary thought. Number 15, Chandler Kwene. Up and in, 55-32. Marcus Azor stopping and popping short to no good. Whalers with the rebound. Antone with a wild one-handed shot is good. Yep. Two quick baskets for the Whalers. Glenn Darty can't hold on to the 
Probably pass. That was like an alley-oop pass. Good defense by the Whalers. They didn't give um, Glenn Doherty any um, position. Torres around the world and out. Scrum on the floor, bodies everywhere. That'll be a jump ball. And I believe it will remain a New Bedford basketball. Let's see right here. A lot of hustle there on both sides of the uh, is there to Glenn oh. Darty? He missed the one-handed jam. Perfect opportunity. Antone on the other end, followed by Precious Oko. Yeah, Glenn Darty, he wanted that jam at the other end of the court. You might see it right here. Nice pass, goes up strong, and just misses it. And head coach Bob Bowen is making an example out of Glenn Darty on the bench. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, Coach Bowen, he, he's from the old school, you know. Um, he's not really impressed with dunks. He'd rather see just a simple layup. Travel called on Precious Oko. How old school are we talking? Old English style, maybe? Old English, yes. Not this time, saith the rim. A quote in a short poem by our director, Paul Mandeville. The Zen master. In the Mandeville mothership. In the Mandeville mothership. The Mandeville mothership. Azor for Glenn Darty, and nice. this time he goes for the layup off the glass and in. Yeah, smart move by Glenn Darty. Yaya coming up with a steal to Oko. Oko laying it up off the glass and in. Yeah, Brockton taking full advantage of the defense, scoring points off the defense. Baker for two, no good. Azor tipping the rebound right back to Baker. Rather, this is number 15, Chandler Kowene. A three is no good. Oak and Lola coming down with the rebound. Now Antone in against Oak and Lola, and he is fouled pretty hard by yeah. Sonny Oak and Lola. Yeah, he was determined to go in for that shot, even though he had a, I mean, he could have dished it from behind, nice dish from behind and give it to the, get the easy two, but he decided to go in on the big man. You might see it here on the replay. He's got a man right behind him. All he had to do is dish it off, but he went up strong and, and got the foul. Anton. Four times around the rim and in. Marcino, Louis, Charles, and Jerese Harris into the game. Azor with five and a half to go to Oak and Lola. New Bedford with the full court press. Louis Charles for two, no good. Jerese Harris coming down with the offensive board. Now Harris for three is in and out. Oak and Lola off the glass and in. The power of offensive rebounds, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and that's some definite power underneath for the boxes. Jerese Harris tripped up. Tajon Montero will replace Kenneth Franklin. And looks like with five minutes left, looks like the boxes 
uh, most likely going to um, take a win under their belt here. Is this this is their second win in a row? I think off that 40 point victory over Barnstable. And I believe this is their first uh, two game back to back wins this season. Azor for three is no good. They would have had one, a two game stretch earlier in the season. Okay. Had they not run into a little team known as the Boston College, College Eagles. Eagles in the Rotary Holiday Tournament. Yeah, the Boston College Eagles, I'm just looking in the newspaper, looks like they're uh, second ranked in um, Eastern Mass. I don't want to see who's first then. No, you don't. I think you got an idea who's first. Therese Harris coming up with the loose ball out to Tijon Glenn Darty. Count it in, one for the big man. Yeah, nice job by uh, Glenn Darty. He was ready, drove to the basket, strong, went up with it and got fouled, still made the shot. You might see it here on the replay. There it coming is. Coming up with the block. Yeah, Darty with the block, yeah, nice defense. Now he's been playing good defense uh, all game, and matter of fact, he's been playing pretty good defense all year. Three points the old fashioned way for Glenn Darty. Yep. And the big man, Tyrone Victor, is in for Sonny Oak and Lola. And when I say big, six foot nine sophomore. It's, that's big. Child prodigy. Two whalers running into each other, fighting for the rebound. Antoine for a three from way downtown is good. Coming up for the steal is number 23, laying it up no good. Antoine coming up with the offensive rebound for New Bedford. Golden opportunity missed right there by the uh, Whalers. Bedford with a couple of offensive rebounds. Yeah, nobody for Brockton really went after that uh, rebound. Glenn Darty underhanding the ball to Azor. Three minutes and 10 seconds to go. Jerese Harris, pump fake. Now goes for a long two, is good. Nice little pump fake, went in for a little short 10 footer and hit it. Antone from way downtown yet again. This one is good. He's got some range. Yeah, he likes to go way downtown, as you said. He's hit about three or four of them shots this evening. Way behind the three-point arc. For three is Marcino Louis Charles. Yeah, Louis Charles, he started early in the game hitting those big, big shots once they got warmed up after those first six minutes of not scoring any points. Antone off the glass and in 69-46 and New Bedford on top. Yeah. Azar's got that nice little square up jump shot, real smooth. Back and forth, up and down the court they go. Azor working against Steven Torres. Handing off to Jerese Harris. Harris fling it for Victor, instead finds Louis Charles on the other end. Hard in for Glenn Darty. New Bedford coming up with a steal, count it in, one for number 25, Lamar Antone. Well, he did a nice job keeping Azor away from the ball. You'll see it right here. Goes out, goes out throws it up high. Uses his uh, left elbow to keep uh, Azor away from him. And gets the foul, chance for a three point play.
Antone has been pulling off some very sneaky moves, speaking of spies. Jerry's wow. Harris off the glass and in. Ooh, that was a nice job there. He took that ball down very quickly. Didn't even give the uh, New Bedford defense a chance to set up. Torres for three, no good. Azor coming up with the rebound with a whaler behind. Louis Charles with another three. No emotion on Marcino Louis Charles' face. None at all. He just goes up there, shoots the shot, nothing real fancy, and hits it. Under a minute to go in this one, 41.1 seconds on the clock. Brockton up big, 76 to 48. I'm gonna take this opportunity to thank the cast and crew for tonight's big three divisional festivities. Of course, at the helm, our director is Paul Mandeville, one of the greatest of all time. Can't argue that. On, the tr uh, on graphics, instant replay, audio, slash truck engineer, slash keeping our director sane with an yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. Mike the Postman Simmons. Nice job, Mike. And then we get the eight team on camera. We have Danny Steel, Danny Steel squared. Both senior and junior up on camera. And of course the prolific cinematographer, award winning director and producer, Paul, uh, not Paul. Aaron Tebow. Aaron Tebow. As Azor is going to hold this one, the buzzer sounds. Of course, big game, Miles Jackson and myself, the Mad Dog, Matt Nelson. Miles, something that did not start off strongly for the Boxers came back as a dominating big three divisional win. Yeah, and that's because of Brockton's defense. They basically just started throwing the defense on, on the uh, Whalers in that second quarter. Whalers didn't have anything to answer back with their defense, and Brockton's defense generated offense. So they took total advantage of um, their defense and made some great um, offensive plays there. Great transition game. So uh, I guess we're gonna, uh, Matt's gonna talk to uh, the winning coach, Coach Bob Bowen in a second here, but uh, Brockton wins their second game in a row for the first time this season. So we'll go ahead down to you, Matt. A game that you really didn't have the best first quarter. You were down eight nothing at one point, come back for the big victory. Yeah, we didn't play very well for quite a while tonight. We got a very slow start. Uh, we made some nice inside moves. We just didn't finish any shots on those layups early. Uh, but luckily we didn't panic. We stayed calm and the second group got in and again brought us a lot of life. The starters didn't start very well. They came to the bench, you said something, it lit a fire under them, and then everybody came together and had a big night. Well, I said we had to keep staying aggressive, that we couldn't start uh, slowing down and we couldn't start playing a different game. We wanted to keep getting the ball inside. We're a lot bigger than they are, a lot stronger than they are, so we didn't want to change our game plan is what I said. Coach, a big three divisional win. What does it mean so early in the season? Well, it's nice to get this jump on the league. Friday we go down to Durfee, though, so we got to get that game, too. Then we'll be 2-0 and in the big three, and that'll be a real good jump on the league. Well, the final score is 76-48. The Brockton Boxers getting a big win against the big three divisional rivals, New Bedford Whalers. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, my broadcast partner, big game, Miles Jackson. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.